Hello, I am Musab Zafar and I love to give presentation on Project Human Resource Management. Uh, basically, I am working in Hinan GitHub Industry Machinery Technology Company Limited, China. So please subscribe Project Human Resource Management channel as soon as possible. Today's topic of video is about and the project man. So, what is the project mindset? Is it a fact or a fiction? So, before going to the project mentality, initially we will discuss what is mentality. So, the mentality is the characteristics, way of thinking of a people or a group. This is the mentality. So, what is the project mindset? Is it a fact or a fiction? And I have been thinking about this project management topic for last 10 days. Is the project mindset real? Is there a culture or a set of habits or behaviors that can define the project mindset? Or do project managers have a project mindset? What makes some people more suited to projects than others? And what are the traits to look for selecting a team for a people for a project that may not necessarily have direct project experience? And what can essential knowledge sharing do so that the team members are clear on the project culture? The scenario is becoming more relevant as operational staff in many organizations are increasingly expected to work on a project as they have intimate knowledge of the business processes impacted. Although operational targets are similar, they tend to be repeated. So the team knows how to achieve and repeat them. So before going to the main extreme of project mindset, Incipiently, we will discuss what is the general and key elements of a project because it's necessary. So what is the project? We look at a project in a general and key elements of a project and here are, you know, we are going to discuss some of the keys, ways in which a project can differ from an operational environment. And a project has a beginning it's not a pre-existing entity. A project has an end. Once the scope is delivered, the project will finish. And the project is a temporary state. It, is, it will not continue forever. Project teams, rooms, and ways of working are temporary. A project is a unique. Even if the delivery of a project is a part of a wider program, the project is unique to its team, site, and installation. A project is not repeated. A project is a, not a part of a business as usual and projects are not defined operational processes and tasks which are easily repeatable. And what is the project resources? And looking at the above feature, the, the, you know, the first two items, the project has a beginning and the project has an end is obvious to most people and need no explanation or introduction. The other three elements, you know, the temporary state, unique and not a part of a business as usual, create some of the biggest challenge for operations or support them that are suddenly thrust into projects or find themselves on a project team. Operation and sport teams are used to a routine. Each week looks and feels that same standards work, practice standards, task, and fix meeting schedule for a week. A project piece of activity will vary. It, it moves from kickoff to specification, design to build, build to test, and test to qualification, qualification to implementation, and implementation to project close. With each of these projects has, uh, you know, phases and comes a different challenge, a different pace, and the ability of project resources to adjust the pace and, and the change to the level and the type of activity are critical to the success of the project. This change of routine, pace, and activity are, you know, what most common operations-based people can tend to struggle 
with for the first time and they are working on a project so now what is a project culture a project manager or engineer with years of experience will instinctively know when to adopt a different pace within a project where is the operation resources will just become comfortable with varying levels of pace and change and when the pace changes uh, some of the resources will adopt and deliver even if they are moving out of their comfort zone personally i have always encouraged people to keep learning and to move out of their comfort zone from time to time as this experience will become the individual growth as a project manager and a project leader should we avoid or address the comfort zone is prevention then the cure is prevention better than the cure if a resource has no project experience should we consider them for business critical projects alternatively should we offer them advice coaching and support to facilitate the transition from a non project to a project way of thinking and project way of working are people capable of adopting the project mindset this is an opportunity for you to develop a leader by coaching someone into a position of confidence in their new role a team selection so when selecting operations based resources for project consider this factor and the person suited to a change of a pace change of activity or a change of routine directly asking the person may not yield the correct answers you need to do a little research on the individual as you know you would when recruiting for any roles find out if they have a track record of adopting changes into their daily work what has their past responses to new policies procedures and processes and systems how have they respond to to pressure situation in the past or last minutes changes of direction and you need to do your research when hiring project resources for several reasons but above everything else the biggest constraint is time as project have a fixed planned durations you may not have the time to take a risk on a resources you know moving from operations to a project a based work should be seen as an opportunity to grow as an individual and expand the capability of the person and the organizations there no hard and fast rule to selecting project resources but i look for the project mindset i define this as a set of characteristics that will provide an indication of how a person will respond to a project and how also how i summarize this is so the ability to cope positively with change a willingness to dig deep to complete a milestone does not tend to knee jerk react to surprise encourage so on a project the capability to move roles and work multiple roles to get the job done the ability to switch off and chill after a period of high intensity working and must not take any work related discussions personally can keep focused on the project goal believe the goal is and the belief the goal is possible can support the team to deliver the and now we will discuss types of mentality in a project so there are two types of project mentality in a project one is product mindset and second one is project mindset i have seen many organization scrum teams and especially product owners struggle with finding the balance in this video i will share my thoughts about the difference between having a project or a product mindset so initially we will discuss the project mindset first of all there is nothing wrong with a project it's a great approach to re to realize a set of activities over an agreed period of time to achieve a particular purpose a project can offer the necessary focus and stimulate collaboration and team towards realizing ambitious and appealing goals 
although the project can be a great approach they are often used incorrectly organizations kick start lots of projects with temporary teams whose main focus is to deliver on time under budget and within scope all these constraints are setting a stone when the earlier made agreement made or accomplished the project has declared a success other smells that often occur with a project culture is signing developers based on their ability in the resource planning is wrong so big up front design project management via gantt chart extensive reporting with a lot of irrelevant information and having a developers explain every hours they have spent of course deadlines budgets and are very important but in the end it's all about building the right product for the customers it's about continuously optimizing the delivered value a project that meets all the deadlines within budget and with the original agreed upon scope can still result in a creepy product or to put it more bluntly it will result in a creepy product it means you have not learned anything during the project or you have not responded on gained lesson learned the results will be operation succeed the project but the patient died which is the product so now the product mindset i rather focus on actual project instead of a temporary project product also tend to have a longer lifetime than project compose fixed steady teams focus on the outcomes teams deliver instead of the output give teams the freedom and responsibility to think of a strategy they believe with result in the best product for our clients Uh, you know uh, facilitate facilitate teams in, in in setting up a process that support them in building these product stimulate teams to pull out instead of putting pushing it the result in a clear focus for the development team and offers the opportunity for a sustainable pace of continuous delivery using such a product mindset means measuring success with business metrics like user adoption and retention and the revenue or cost saving generated per feature and this leads to less waste more creativity and more release great product owners understand that although there is value in using project approach they prefer a product mindset so great product owners understand that although there is a value in using a project approach they prefer a product mindset thereby creating and re- representing the product strategy and vision focusing on achieving customer delight and maximizing revenues and return on investment and most important building the right product so now we are going to discuss what is project management mentality what is ceo mentality your long term success in that company's goal which means the success of your clients is our goal now how do you get the most out of what we have to offer achieve greater profitability and ultimately building a bigger business one of the key differentiator for us is the white label private label industry is how scalable our model is for our partners we talk directly to our clients under your brand name or the phone and with email address you set up are you talking advantage of that if not you are living likely living money on the table in the front of the potential time you can be doing other things we have some partners who loves our services believe in our in our capabilities trust or integrity yes they are not getting the full scalability and profitability they can out of what we have to offer 
Why would someone do that? It's hard to transition from being a project manager into becoming a CEO. This is where most small businesses get stuck. A lot of small businesses rely on the owner for that too much. Thus, they remain as small businesses. Why? Because it's hard to let go. And if you are the entrepreneur that started the business, then you probably feel a lot of pride knowing everything about every single client that you work with. You don't miss a beat. You know how their campaigns progress. You know their names, how they pay, and likely have developed personal relationship with them. I am not saying you have to slow down. In fact, I am suggesting you get more out of the time you are putting in. And I am telling you that if you ask our CEO what is happening X account, he would say, let me have Y. Manager answers that question for you. He cannot know everything. We have too many accounts. He could not possibly know the names of every single one of our partners and all of their clients. The fact is I want to help you to establish the same mentality. It is okay. You might now be the size right now. But think big. Act big. And you will become big. So now, what is your mindset? What is your mentality? In this video, I have described my take on the difference between having a project or a product mindset. Of course, the distinction is not always this clear. And for sure, there is nothing wrong with project. However, the often accompanied smells are wrong. Try to prevent or mitigate them. So what is the mindset that is most common in your organizations? What is your mindset? Do you celebrate the success of a project or a product or both? So now, audience, I am eager to learn from your experience with the topic. Thank you.